my name is Susan Brown and I'm one of the tour directors on the Scotland Highlands and Islands Odysseys tour. I'm here at my hometown above Pitlochry, which is just down below us here. Um, and I thought I would talk to you a little bit about what you can expect in terms of language when you come to Scotland. Obviously we speak English, but we also have Gaelic speakers, mainly on the west coast of Scotland, and that's about 1% of the population. Unfortunately, my Gaelic runs to a few words and good morning and good evening, and that's about it. But the other language we've got, which is very rich, is the language called Scots. So I'm going to teach you some words that you might hear when you're on tour in Scotland. Whether it's from me, the coach driver, or from the people out and about that you meet when you're going around Scotland. The first one is I, which basically means yes. After that, you might have somebody who says, how's it going? How's it going means, how are you doing? Or if you're in Glasgow, you might hear them saying, Giza, give me a. Uh, whether it could be, can you give me a look at that? Or could you give me some money? Or could you give me directions to wherever? They might mistake you for a local. Other words we have, well, we have words about size. So you might get asked if you want a wee bit of soup. We means small. However, on the opposite end of the scale, we've got muckle. So if something's mm. muckle, it means it's really big. So it could be, oh, there's a muckle big boulder over there. It's a really big boulder. You might say that something is a belter. Well, if something's a belter, it could mean it's big or it could mean it's fantastic. Other words we have as well is a stoter. So if something's an absolute stoter, it either means that they're really good looking, it could be a person, or that's a stoter of a car over there. What an amazing car. Other words that you might hear, well, people say to me uh, at the beginning of the tours, I say to them, you're not come to Scotland for the weather, it could be a mixed bag. And they're like, yes, we are. We have left the States to get away from the heat. Well, that's probably just as well, because our temperatures seem to be a little bit lower than they are in the States. Even so, it can be high 70s and I get really hot and I'll say, God, I'm absolutely puggled which is a great Scottish word to say you're absolutely roasting. However, sometimes the weather's not as we might like it. It might be a bit dreech. And dreech means that it's grey, it's maybe a little bit damp, that kind of thin drizzle that you can get that'll soak you through without being proper rain. If you happen to be out in the rain, then you might get soaked and you'll say, absolute drook it. Or that person over there looks drook it because they're soaked through. And in the winter, it can get a little bit cold. And instead of saying it's really cold outside, someone might say it's pure Baltic. And pure Baltic means it's really cold. Other words, uh, Claire that I'm with just now, who came up the top of Craig Hour, this hill I'm on at the minute, she, as we were coming up the street, said, oh, there's the wifey that does this, does that. So wifey and manny is like a, a slightly older woman or a man that you might hear used, especially in Glasgow. Ooh. Uh, other words to describe people, well, the Scots are known for sometimes being a little bit stubborn. And we have a great word called thrawn. And if you're thrawn, it means you are stubborn as anything. The feet go in. And sometimes you could say if I was with a coach driver and I think, oh yeah, we need to take the next right. He knows we need to take the next right. He might take the left because he's like, well, I know we need to go right, but she's told me to go right. So I'm going to go left just for the sake of it. That is thrawn in a nutshell for the Scots. Uh, other things that we might have, well, if uh, you might say, my mum might say to me, oh, sit down on your bahookie. So your bottom is your bahookie. Or uh, this is your heat. So your head is your heat. And what you might do is uh, if you're with somebody who looks like they're maybe in a little bit of a daydream, you might say, you're looking a bit glaikit. Glaikit means basically the lights are on but nobody's home. You're in your own little dream world. Other words we have, peely wally. What most Scots look like before they see the sun again round about Easter. We're totally white. Um, any sign of a tan has disappeared. Um, or it could be that you're not looking very well. You look a bit peely wally. Other words that we have, well, I've had a surrogate dog staying with me for most of the second lockdown. And people say, oh, she's a ripe souk. And a souk means she's just becoming a little pet and she's just trying to do everything to please you. So there you go, a little introduction to Scots words 
from Susan Brown, the Odyssey's Highlands and Islands tour in Scotland. Hope to see you here soon.